Hi, I'm Elliot, and this is my poem, Joe Tizuno Would Be a Good Friend. Joe Tizuno would be a good friend. He wouldn't show up to my birthday party only to ditch me for another person. He wouldn't call me, insert homophobic slur here, and tell me no one would care if I died, because he would care. When someone made me the butt of their jokes, he wouldn't just laugh along, acting as if I were some silly prize in a game of truth or dare, a head to mount on their walls. He would be there to wipe my tears away. I wouldn't be that weird, lonely girl sitting in the grass drawing just people's heads and shoulders, nothing below on crinkled up sticky notes, because he would be there, unlike real people, locking eyes with me and looking away. Joe Tizuna will never be real. No matter how many times I cry, I'll never get more than pre-written lines. No matter how many times I long to know every detail about him, dogs or cats, vanilla or chocolate, he will always stay behind a screen. Even if I were to live in his world, I would suffer, watching the blood pour out of him, seeing him smile through it, tears streaking down his face as the painful noise fills my ears, creating a wicked song, a painful symphony of incessant clicking and why'd you kill me is in his predetermined personal hell. Joe Tizuna can't be saved, no matter how hard anyone tries. His scattered pixels cannot be salvaged. The sacrifice cannot be resurrected, no matter how much it hurts. Joe Tizuna will never be real. A dead, fictional boy can't be alive. Not even in his own dismal, semi-pixelated universe. So I'll return to my spot in the grass with my sticky notes, heads, and shoulders. Let the sun glare down at me, just like the people walking by, except the sun doesn't like to look away. Joe Tizuna will never be alive, so I will have to live for the both of us.